In today's video, I wanna cover one massive reason that we uncovered on the live stream that we did a couple of days ago, why this is not the Bitcoin crash that everyone's expecting. This is just the pullback, the dip, the buy the dip opportunity, get those altcoins. And I'll show you that on the charts in just a moment. Also, we're gonna go through the Bitcoin FUD, why people believe Bitcoin is dropping and go through that news and look at it from the source. Before we get into the video, quick warning, scammers are in the comments. I will never send you WhatsApp, Telegram or email addresses. All the official links to the video will be in the description. So if you're new to the channel, thanks very much for stopping by. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. And for the returning guys, if you find some value from the channel or the new guys, consider hitting the like button down below. It goes a very long way to helping out the channel. Let's see if we can reach 50,000 subscribers. We just surpassed 40 and now we're at nearly 44,000. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, for the people who ask, the trading software that I use when I go through the charts is tradingview.com. Official link as well in the description. Follow me on Instagram if you want. I post my retirement fund updates. Started with $26,000, currently about 155,000, all in Aussie dollars there. So it's on my Instagram if you wanna keep up to date with a portfolio that I'm tracking. It was an idea from people when I reached 40,000. What should I do on the channel? Go and check that out. All right, reminder, uh, course coming out this month, next week. So if you're not already subscribed to the email list, be sure to do that link to my website down below, drop your email address there and I'll let you know once it comes out, there'll be a massive discount for the first 100 guys to purchase that course. Now I've got through the housekeeping, let's take a look at the agenda, the news and the fundamentals, the FUD, the manipulation going on in the market with the double spend, which we hopefully by now know is a fake bit of news, but we're gonna take a quick look at that and go to one of the sources that you can review to make yourself understand what actually happens with the Bitcoin blockchain. Technical analysis, as I said, one of the major reasons why I believe this is not the end of the market, not the overall crash, but the perfect buy opportunity to be getting in on the next leg up. Also, we've got forecast trading psychology, actions we can take in order to make the most of this dip. And then of course, the lessons, this is all about education. To the news, and I've got the Bloomberg article here, Bitcoin plunge has newbies scrambling to Google double spend. People are trying to figure out what does this double spend mean? This was the whole FUD and possibly the reason why the market quickly tanked and has now recovered. I think some people still don't know what it is or what has happened because the price hasn't recovered completely. But nonetheless, we have now taken out some of the weak hands and a little bit more time of the market trading around these lower levels will probably see us set up for a really nice recovery. Basically, the FUD comes from BitMEX research. Uh, there was a stale Bitcoin block today at height, da 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 da, slush pool, yada yada. It appears that if there was a small double spend of around that much Bitcoin, $21 was detected. So this is the tweet over here. However, I want to have a look at Andre Antonopoulos's tweets. Now, there's a lot of tweets here. If you don't know, don't know Andreas Antonopoulos. He is basically the godfather of explaining and educating people on Bitcoin and blockchains, as you can see here on his Twitter profile. So if there's ever a question you have, he is the go-to man to understand about blockchain and Bitcoin, the technology behind it. Don't ask him, should I buy now or not? He's the technology guy. Over half a million followers on Twitter over here. So a more detailed explanation of the whole, a double spend broke Bitcoin FUD that was circulated by an irresponsible publication. And we already see that here, irresponsible publication from uh, BitMEX, who is a cryptocurrency exchange. And of course, they make a ton of money from the fees that go through their exchange when there is a lot of buying and selling activity. And of course, FUD and FOMO create a lot of buying and selling activity. So I wouldn't be believing that from the get-go. Definitely gonna do a little more research. Basically, this is a normal process that happens on the Bitcoin blockchain. And you can read about that in this tweet. As you can see, he's got over 20 tweets to explain what, what happened here. So it was a $22 send that happened on the blockchain and it was a double spend, but one of those was later removed off the blockchain. So the, the chain went in a different direction. It didn't take both chains on, it always takes one and there has to be multiple confirmations so that the nodes and the miners know which chain to take. So for $22, you could accept one confirmation. So every 10 minutes there's a confirmation on Bitcoin. Generally, you're gonna accept more than one confirmation, but for small transactions, 
sure, one confirmation, 22 bucks. If it goes wrong, worst case is you're out of $22. So who cares? You can't get the money back, you're out of 22 bucks. It's not the end of the world. The news, the, the scare that people are trying to say is it's broken because it could have been 22 million. And if there was a double spend of 22 million, then that's really gonna screw the blockchain. No, it couldn't be, Andrea says. If you accept a 22 million payment in Bitcoin, I would assume you understand how Bitcoin has worked since 2008, exactly as specified in the paper. You don't deliver on that payment after one confirmation. So if you were sending 22 million or you were receiving that, you're not gonna accept it and then give the goods after one confirmation. You're going to wait for at least six confirmations, which is what's in the paper. Probably more confirmations, but in this case, six is usually the go-to number. I assume for 22 million, you'd probably wait for a hell of a lot more, but look, at this point, it's what he's saying here. Uh, I've liked a few of these tweets. I think it's good. He says later on, nothing weird or outside the consensus algorithm happened. Bitcoin continues to work exactly as it should. The only thing that happened is bad journalism, if it can be called that, if it can even be called that. In a bubbly market, a rumor can circulate the globe before it is debunked. Consider it debunked. So Andreas debunked the FUD. It's all over. We can move on. Let's continue to climb the ranks of the Bitcoin price chart. So that's FUD. Could it be manipulation? Probably just for the exchanges. I mean, it was an exchange that put it out. They're going to make a hell of a lot of fees off people dumping and buying back. We can't say for sure. So you take it for what it is. Let's move on to the charts. Here we are at the Bitcoin chart. Now, we always look at these charts on the macro. We start with the macro and then work our way down. Don't ever start with a hourly, four hourly, 15 minute, even a daily. Start bigger if you are investing longer term. If you're investing for the weeks to months, minimum you start with is one to three day chart. One day for the weeks, at least a three day to a weekly for long term, for months. If you're coming onto videos on YouTube and you're looking at one hours or 15 minutes, you're gonna get screwed, right? They don't know what the hell is going on when it comes to a chart. It's just there to increase new supply. So the idea of looking at a macro chart is because we're looking for macro trends. If we want short term charts, then sure, guys who are day trading, who are looking at the market, 24 seven, maybe eight hours a day, then sure, 15 minute charts, five minute charts, 30 minute charts, that's the, that's the go-to there. You don't really care about the monthly or the weekly charts. But for the majority of people who would lose money when it comes to trading, it's a known fact, 80 to 90% of people lose money, or almost all of their money when it comes to trading, then you're better off swinging, the fa swinging all of the statistics in your favor and going with a daily, three daily or weekly chart and looking for the long-term trends. That's why we look at the weekly. So the weekly, not much has changed. We have finally got a swing down. Now, put on a log, doesn't look too bad. Everything looks like it's going to plan and we're now sitting at the 50% of this range. So that is the first piece of solid, solid advice that I can see here from the chart that we've got this range, this swing range, top to bottom, 50% solid, area to find support. Now, I wouldn't be concerned if the market even came back to 26,000 to test the 38%, which would be a 61% retrace of the range. We're not using the measure from the top down. Don't worry about that. This is more important right now as we trend further up into the market. Those dips using the measuring tool aren't as important. They're great, but this is much better. Okay, we are in a good position right now. We've bounced off the 50%. Fantastic, we bounced off the 50% all the way up during the bull market. It doesn't mean that we're in the clear. We need to look for other signs. And the other sign I wanna to bring to your attention is the altcoin market. This is something that we went through in the, the live stream just a couple of days ago. Basically, while Bitcoin was dumping, normally we see in the markets that the rest of the market dumps, even in their Bitcoin value, if it's in a bear market, because everyone is scared. What we saw that night was Bitcoin dumping and the USD prices of the cryptos, sure, they're dumping as well. However, the, all of the BTC values were, were rising like they are now. Now, of course, this is just the list that I'm looking at. There's probably a few dozen cryptos here. On the whole, you got a lot of BTC values which are rising or holding their grounds while the USD is steady or slightly falling because of what's going on with Bitcoin itself. 
So you can see BTC price, even for Ripple, BTC, 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 even on that night that we were watching the market fall, Bitcoin Cash, which has had a very terrible time against Bitcoin lately, has found its way into holding its position on its Bitcoin price. So like we can see here, we're on a weekly, let's drop it just down to a daily to follow that dump. And literally it's only just trended down slightly, 3%, 4%, four and a half and currently at around 6%, which isn't so bad considering Bitcoin Cash is probably one of the worst, worst playing markets at the moment. It's just nothing is going on with it and it's been falling ever since. So even Bitcoin Cash could hold its ground. Now I'm not basing the entire market, bull market on Bitcoin Cash only, but looking at sectors which are really weak, Bitcoin Cash, the ripples, those sort of things, those, those cryptocurrencies from the old days, they have been extremely weak, but even they were holding their ground during the Bitcoin dump. So that to me shows strength in the market if these crappy coins can hold their ground for that period. Like I said, this isn't the overall analysis to say it's completely 100% we're there, but that is very uh, reassuring for my own trading. And then looking at a lot of these other coins, which are in the green against their Bitcoin value. And I'm not overly concerned about their USD value just holding ground because US, uh, the Bitcoin is going up and down, Bitcoin price is going up and down, but they are now coming back with their Bitcoin value. That is a huge one. That's a very, very good sign that the market is basically just having a quick spill before we get another accumulation and a rally. From here, we wanna see a good one to three months total from the top as an accumulation. I've talked about this on almost every single video. Reason being is we want to see some more energy build up in the market before we take off again. You wanna fill up the tank again. You don't wanna leave with the tank half full if you're going on a big journey. If we're going on a massively long journey, which we're all hoping for, you definitely wanna have your car full of gas, maybe even bring some more gas in the freaking boot so that you can fill up if it starts to run out. We wanna use all of the supplies that we can to shoot us to the moon. We have now seen 14 days down. We're currently into our 15th day. And if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know that I'm always referring back to this little run up and drop back in 2017. This is the, the move that I like to refer to to give me an idea of what may happen next. Remember, history doesn't repeat exactly, but it definitely rhymes. And so far, we are rhyming quite well with this sort of play out here. You can see there's a triangle through there, a little breakdown, a little move up before a final flush out of the weak hands. And I assume the weak hands probably aren't watching this far into the end of the video. So congratulations to you guys. If you found some value from it, leave us a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell notification icon so you can stay up to date with the journey as we continue through this bull market. Now, last thing before I leave is 34 days down, top to bottom. Currently, we're only 15 days or 14 days that we just looked at. That's why I say I would like to see at least another two weeks before we start to push up again nice and strong. We want to fill the tank. If we don't fill the tank enough, we're going to be in trouble as we head higher. We probably won't shoot as far. So filling this tank nice and early is fantastic. The reason why I say early on is because as the market pushes up, you have less time to fill the tank. Each one of these pullbacks was less and less time, less time, less time. And then finally, it's over. It's over before you know it. And it might look like a huge gain here, but really if you got in here at 8,000 and you happen to sell very close to the top, you only doubled your money. But if you're in early here at 2,000, you nearly 10X your money. So really stick with the market. That's part of the psychology that I had in the agenda. We're looking at psychology, what to do next, stay with the market always. That's the lesson for uh, long-term investors, stay with the market. I say that almost every video, stay with the market regardless whether it's going up or down. We're in these little periods now where it's heading down. So there's always less viewers online, less people looking for Bitcoin. Most people come out when it's shooting up. Stay with the market, you'll get the feel for what this is about so that you can then uh, learn about it for the next time it happens and the next time it happens. Stay with the market. As the old saying goes, the bull markets can make you money, but the bear markets can make you rich. I'll wrap it up there. Thanks again for joining me, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know 
like, share, subscribe down below. Share this with someone that you think needs to hear the message to stay with the market and not get scared out, lose their weak hands of their cryptos and start to understand what the hell it is that they're buying into. I'll see you guys at the next video and until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.